A third person was taken into custody in regards to the Boston bombings. His name is Ibrahim uh, Todeshev. He's also Chechen, and apparently he knew Tamerlan Zarniev, uh, uh, of course, who was the uh, main person who organized the Boston bombings. Of course, Zarniev Tamerlan has been killed. His younger brother, uh, Jahar, is in custody. And so the FBI and Massachusetts police wanted to question Ibrahim. And they also wanted to question him about uh, killings in uh, September 11th of 2011. There was a triple homicide. So now here's where it got a little weird. Now that's perfectly normal and I'm glad that they found another suspect and were questioning him. Uh, but then things went awry. Apparently the authorities say that he jumped out at one of the FBI agents and uh, apparently hurt the agent in some way and that's where it gets really weird. Uh, and so they shot him to death. He's dead. He was in FBI custody and apparently they felt so threatened by him that they had to kill him. Fascinating. Okay, now he was actually with a friend, Kushun Taramiv, who was also briefly questioned. Uh, and Taramiv says, the FBI took me and my friend, the suspect that got killed. They were talking to us, both of us, right? And they said they need him for a little more, for a couple more hours. And I left. And they told me they're going to bring him back. They never brought him back. So, uh, he went on to talk to the press and also explained that Tam Taramiv also said that Todeshev, that's the guy who was killed, felt inside he was going to get shot by the FBI. And it turns out he did. Now, we don't know for a fact that his friend is telling the truth and whether he actually said that before he got shot. If that is the case, that's very weird. Now, what's extremely weird is that earlier in the day, I'm reading a Huffington Post story about this shooting and they make no mention of a knife that this Todeshev might have. Now I read a Bloomberg story later in the day and they say that he lunged at the FBI officials with a knife. Later in the day I read the same Bloomberg story and the reference to the knife has been removed. I go back to the Huffington Post, the reference to the knife has been added. So the knife is coming in and out of the stories does, did he actually have a knife? Why did he have a knife when he was in FBI custody? Those are very good questions. We don't know how they're going to be answered. And if he was lunging and stabbed the agent several times, as one of the stories had at some point said, well then of course you could understand why the FBI agent shot him in self-defense. If he didn't have a knife and they started planting stories about how he had a knife and they shot him while he was just sitting in custody and he had said earlier that he was worried about getting shot, well then we've got trouble. So don't make any prejudgments here. We have no idea what happened in that room right now. We just know these incredibly confusing set of facts and I can guarantee you the conspiracy theories are already afloat. <laughs> There's no way they haven't been launched yet, right? Uh, but don't help the th conspiracy theorists by doing really weird things and killing people in FBI custody. Again, unless you, could help, uh, unless you couldn't help it, and if you got stabbed a couple times, you'd probably shoot the guy too. So we don't know what the situation is right now, but it is an incredibly weird story and Ibrahim Todeshev is dead either way.